What is going on YouTube? This is Max coming back at you once again with another video. This time I have finally received my Kef R11 speakers. If you like this type of content, if you do me a favor by hitting that like button and that subscribe button, I greatly appreciate it. So the first thing I'm going to show is the instructions that comes with every calf speaker R11s and the actual accessories that comes with the uh, tower speakers. So these accessories are more that you will install for the footing for the R11 towers. So this is something that I wanted to show, which I find kind of interesting because I've been trying to look for unboxings for R11s and I really haven't seen too many unboxings. So I thought this be a, a excellent video for for anyone who is interested in picking these speakers up to see what it comes in the box. So I'm showing the first unboxing right now. I did do a little speed through of the Kef's uh, R11's uh, unboxing just because that it was just taking far too long. So I tried to condense it and edit everything to, to show it in one box. But right now you can see that is one of the plugs that you put on the back of the speakers for the subwoofer portion of it. So that comes with each Kef R11s. And uh, one thing too, I want to shout out to my dad uh, for helping me unbox these speakers because these speakers are pretty heavy. When I mean heavy, I mean they are over 80 pounds. So I will recommend that everyone please have two people to, uh, two people to unbox these speakers yourself and somebody else because these speakers you cannot do by yourself and you may have an incident where you end up dropping them wherever the case may be and even say on the package to two people to carry the tower speakers now going back to the unboxing uh the kef r11 i'm so excited i finally received them i just got so fed up with uh best buy uh, well, it's not really Best Buy's fault, but it was just a thing is, is that they were supposed to deliver it, but it just took a very long time for them just to deliver it to the house. So I went in and just went to the store and just picked them up myself and went ahead and just took them back home and had my dad help me out um, to move them to the basement and help me unbox it and um, help do the installation for it. So... So getting back to the unboxing, right now we are installing the legs to the Kef R11 tower speakers. So one thing it does say on the box is, is that you're supposed to open them from both sides, the front and the top and the bottom. Reason being is because for the bottom part, you're supposed to install the feet first. And then once you install that, you're supposed to kind of like guide or flip it, flip the towers over on its uh, front but how the way my dad and I did it is is that we propped it up with books at, at a kind of like a angle so we could slowly pull out the tower speakers and we can um, do the unboxing itself as in pulling the box out so you'll see that momentarily but other people have different methods but I thought this was the best way to doing it instead of just flipping the speakers on the top and after you install the lace because like i said before these tower speakers are over 80 pounds so just don't want to have an incident where maybe the case where uh end up falling so so that was the best route for us but if you have any delivered by some professional people they have their own methods of doing it but this was the best method that we could think of at the time when we was doing the unboxing and putting the speakers together so if you're curious to know why I picked the Kef R11s is simply because when I went to Best Buy and you've seen my previous videos, I've been looking at the Kef R11s for quite some time. So I went ahead and purchased them and I am just more than excited to put these speakers together. So if you're not really aware of the Kef R11s, they're pretty much, they are their flagship three-way floor, floor standing speaker. And it combines with four bass drivers and the latest generation of UniQ for powerful and refined, refined sound. So they have a hybrid of aluminum bass drivers and it's a 12th generation of UniQ. So 
I know I'm talking a lot of language pretty much for the speaker, but what really attracted me was the the look of it. And not only just the look, but it was really just the sound when I was demoing this at Best Buy. I never heard a Kef or any speaker that was as crisp and clear as the Kef R11s. Now, I was originally going to buy the Bowles and Wilkins 702 uh, S2 tower speakers, but when I, and I, I was going to buy them and go ahead and just finish the basement off with them. But when I saw the Kef R11s at the Best Buy, I was like, let me try and demo these first before I make my official decision. So we, so the salesperson was very helpful and, and I want to give this person a shout out because he's been helping me tremendously at Best Buy, well, especially trying to figure out what type of sound I'm trying to go for. And when I was doing the comparison between the Bowles and Wilkins BMWs 702S2 and the Kev R11, both of them are really, really great speakers. But I felt that the Kev R11 stood out more than the BMWs. And the reason why I'm saying that is because for my use case scenario, especially when it comes to home theater, I'm primarily just going to be using these speakers just to watch, uh, using the speakers just to watch movies. I am into music, but I'm just not going to sit there just to listen to music all day. But when it comes to movies, home theater sound, looking looking at TV, sports, whatever the case, I thought the Kef really stood out in this case, and especially just looking at the the look of it and the sound of it. This was something that I just couldn't simply pass up. Now I'm just doing the other unboxing for the Kef R11. So this one I'm kind of like speeding past through because I went over the first unboxing of the first R11s. So just if you guys are interested, if you could slow, if you want to slow down the video, you can, and you could take a look at specifically what I did with the second speaker. But it's identical to what I did on the first one. So we went ahead and put the legs on there. We propped the speaker up just so we could take the box out. And I thought this was a little bit of a better angle for this unboxing. And so, just like I said before, you need two people, especially for the speaker. The speaker is really heavy, 80, over 80 pounds, just to get this together. So don't make a mistake, because these, these speakers, you don't want to have an issue with that. So the next thing I'm going to show is the actual demo. So I'm going to do the best I can to try to capture the sound for both uh, the Kef R11s and even my center channel R2Cs. So I am doing, I'm using the Blue Yeti mic microphone if anyone is interested. And I am 12, close to 13 feet away from the sound wise. So it, the best way to experience this is to have your headphones on because it's kind of, it's really hard to listen to this on your TV speakers or your phone or whatever the case may be so try to listen to your headphones to get a better better quality but i will put the disclaimer out there it is going through youtube it's a totally different experience if you're in person compared to what you're seeing and hearing from youtube so just want to throw that out there i'm about to go ahead and show, share the demo but just want to show you also too that this is uh, kind of like the front grill and these are magnetic and the magnetic grills I like them a lot some people don't like it is due to preference but for my use case scenario it matches perfectly with my basement colors so that was the reason why I'm using that so I'm gonna go ahead and share the demo but I just want to give everyone just a closer look with the grills on and the grills off just if anyone is interested in purchasing the Kef R11 speakers. Something's into the atmosphere. Hey Cap, we got a situation here. It's not gonna happen. You 
you are in Wakanda now. Thanos will have nothing but dust and blood. We have blood to spare. No! Alright, back up, Sam. You're gonna get your wings in. So let me know what you think about the unboxing video. If you like this type of video, if you could do me a favor by hitting that like button, subscribe button, I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Until next time, I'll see everyone on the next one. Take care. Bye.